September happens to be National Translation Month, and September 30th, in just a few days, is International Translation Day. So here are some translation books uh, that the store carries. This is The Inferno by Dante Alighieri, translated by no less a person than Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Uh, I apologize that I cannot pronounce this poet. I'm going to try Abol Kasem Erdosi. And this book is the Persian Book of Kings, translated by Dick Davis. These are just a few selections uh, from, what, from what is over there on the poetry shelf. The Odyssey by Homer, translated by Robert Fitzgerald. And then this one's personal because uh, I studied German at college, and this is one of my favorite German poets, Rainer Maria Rilke, translated by Robert Bly. And yeah, um, lucky me, I get to share this with you now. Um, I, uh, I noticed one of my favorite poems in here earlier. I'm going to try and find it. There it is. I'm going to try. Apologies if anybody speaks German, they can correct my pronunciation, but I'm going to try to read this in German and English, because it's pretty cool they've got the parallel texts. Hand in uns. In uns der Hand, sola die nicht mehr geht, als auf Gefühl, die sich nach oben hält und im Spiegel himmlische Straßen empfängt, die selber wandeln. Die gelernt hat, auf Wasser zu gehen, wenn sie schöpft die auf den Brunnen geht, aller Wege verwandelt, die auftritt in anderen Händen, die ihresgleichen zur Landschaft macht, wandert und ankommt in ihnen, sie anfüllt mit Ankunft. And here's the translation. Palm, palm of the hand, soul that walks now only on feeling. The hand turns over, and in its mirror shows heavenly roads that themselves are walking. It has learned to stroll on water when it dips down, walks on top of fountains, causes all roads to fork. It steps forward into another's hand, changes its doubles into a countryside, travels into them and arrives, fills them with having arrived. <laughs> and uh, I've got my own poem about translating. It's called The Translator. Between the hearts of Europe and of Asia, or halfway from Sao Paulo to New York, I peddle my inherited aphasia. Wherever light is dim and footpaths fork. A parasite on anything uncertain, a medium for codifying fear. A tiny borehole through an iron curtain. My world is shrinking fast. Don't come to me. Thank you.